Motorola. Motorola, Incorporated slash Motorola slash was an American multinational telecommunications company based in Schoenberg, Illinois. After having lost $4.3 billion from 2007 to 2009, the company was divided into two independent public companies, Motorola Mobility and Motorola Solutions on January 4, 2011. Motorola Solutions is generally considered to be the direct successor to Motorola, Inc., as the reorganization was structured with Motorola Mobility being spun off. Motorola designed and sold wireless network infrastructure equipment such as cellular transmission base stations and signal amplifiers. Motorola's home and broadcast network products included set-top boxes, digital video recorders, and network equipment used to enable video broadcasting, computer telephony, and high-definition television. Its business and government customers consisted mainly of wireless voice and broadband systems, used to build private networks, and, public safety communications systems like Astro and Dimitra. These businesses, except for set-top boxes and cable modems, are now part of Motorola Solutions. Google sold Motorola Home, the former general instrument cable businesses, to the Aris Group in 2012. Motorola's wireless telephone handset division was a pioneer in cellular telephones. Also known as the Personal Communication Sector, PCS, prior to 2004, it pioneered the flip phone with the micro TAC as well as the clam phone with the star TAC in the mid-1990s. It had staged a resurgence by the mid-2000s with the RAZR, but lost market share in the second half of that decade. Later it focused on smartphones using Google's open-source Android mobile operating system. The first phone to use the newest version of Google's open source OS, Android 2.0, was released on November 2, 2009 as the Motorola Droid, the GSM version launched a month later, in Europe, as the Motorola Milestone. The handset division, along with cable set-top boxes and cable modems, was later spun off into the independent Motorola Mobility. On May 22, 2012, Google CEO Larry Page announced that Google closed on its deal to acquire Motorola Mobility. On January 29, 2014, Google CEO Larry Page announced that pending closure of the deal, Motorola Mobility would be acquired by Chinese technology company Lenovo for 2.91 billion US dollars, subject to certain adjustments. History Motorola started in Chicago, Illinois is Galvin Manufacturing Corporation, at 847 West Harrison Street, in 1928, with its first product being a battery eliminator. At that time the radio had not yet been developed for use in automobiles, but Bill Lear and Howard Gates of Zenith made a pair. Lear designed the circuit and layout, Gates did the metal work and Lear assembled them. Bill Lear presented Paul Galvin with the prototype, and he initially dismissed it. Later the idea was taken up by Galvin and a 200-unit production run was made. In 1930 Galvin Manufacturing Corporation introduced the Motorola Radio, one of the first commercially successful car radios. Companies founder Paul V. Galvin and investor Bill Lear created the brand name Motorola. Galvin and Lear mulled over names for the product on a cross-country trip and came up with Motorola, which was a blend of motor and the then popular suffix Ola used with audio equipment of the time, for example Victrola. The product was such a success that Galvin changed the name of the company to Motorola. The name Motorola was adopted in 1930, and the word has been used as a trademark since the 1930s. Many of Motorola's products have been radio-related, starting with a battery eliminator for radios, through the first walkie-talkie in the world in 1940, defense electronics, cellular infrastructure equipment, and mobile phone manufacturing. In the same year, the company built its research and development program with Dan Noble, a pioneer in FM radio and semiconductor technologies joined the company as director of research. The company produced the handheld AMS CR536 radio during World War II, which was vital to Allied communication. Motorola ranked 94th among United States corporations in the value of World War II military production contracts. 
In 1943, Motorola went public and in 1947, the name changed to its present name. At this time, Motorola's main business was producing and selling televisions and radios. In October 1946, Motorola Communications Equipment carried the first calls on Illinois Bell Telephone Company's new car radio telephone service in Chicago, Illinois. In 1955, years after Motorola started its research and development laboratory in Phoenix, Arizona, to research new solid-state technology, Motorola introduced the world's first commercial high-power germanium-based transistor. The present Batwing logo was also introduced in 1955, having been created by award-winning Chicago graphic designer Morton Goldschol in late 1954. Beginning in 1958, with Explorer 1, Motorola provided radio equipment for most NASA spaceflights for decades including during the 1969 moon landing. A year later, it established a subsidiary to conduct licensing and manufacturing for international markets. Motorola created numerous products for use by the government, public safety officials, business installments, and the general public. These products include cell phones, laptops, computer processors, and radio communication devices. The Motorola RAZR line has sold over 120 million units bringing the company to the number two mobile phone slot in 2005. Since the 1950s, Used Motorola radio equipment has been popular with amateur radio, ham operators. Known as Mar Batwings, Motorola has provided little to no support to hobbyists, who keep using these radios for years or even decades after they were taken out of production. The company began making televisions in 1947 with the model VT71 with 7-inch cathode ray tube. In 1960, it introduced the world's first large screen portable, 19-inch, transistorized, cordless television. In 1963, it introduced the first rectangular color picture tube and in 1967 introduced the modular Quasar brand. In 1974, Motorola sold its television business to the Japan-based Matsushita, the parent company of Panasonic. In 1952, Motorola opened its first international subsidiary in Toronto. Canada to produce radios and televisions. In 1953, the company established the Motorola Foundation to support leading universities in the United States. In 1964, it opened its first company research and development branch outside of the United States, in Israel under the management of Moses Basin. In 1969 Neil Armstrong spoke the famous words one small step for man. One giant leap for mankind from the moon on a Motorola transceiver. In 1973, Motorola demonstrated the first handheld portable telephone. In 1974, Motorola introduced its first microprocessor, the 8 bit MC6800, used in automotive, computing, and video game applications. In 1976, Motorola moved to its present headquarters in the Chicago suburb of Schoenberg. Illinois. In 1980, Motorola's next-generation 32-bit microprocessor, the MC68000, led the wave of technologies that spurred the computing revolution in 1984, powering devices from companies such as Apple, Commodore, Atari, Sun, and Hewlett-Packard. In September 1983, the U.S. Federal Communications Commission FCC, approved the Dyna TAC-8000X telephone, the world's first commercial cellular device. By 1998, cell phones accounted for two-thirds of Motorola's gross revenue. The company was also strong in semiconductor technology, including integrated circuits used in computers. In particular, it is known for the 6800 family and 68000 family of microprocessors used in Atari Street, Commodore Amiga, Color Computer, and Apple Macintosh Personal Computers. The PowerPC family was developed with IBM and in a partnership with Apple, known as the AIM Alliance. Motorola also has a diverse line of communication products, including satellite systems, digital cable boxes and modems. In 1986, Motorola invented the Six Sigma Quality Improvement Process. 
this became a global standard. In 1990, General Instrument Corporation, which was later acquired by Motorola, proposed the first all-digital HDTV standard. In the same year, the company introduced the Bravo numeric pager which became the world's best-selling pager. In 1991, Motorola demonstrated the world's first working prototype digital cellular system and phones using GSM standard in Hanover, Germany. In 1994, Motorola introduced the world's first commercial digital radio system that combined paging, data and cellular communications and voice dispatch in a single radio network and handset. In 1995 Motorola introduced the world's first two-way pager which allowed users to receive text messages and email and reply with a standard response. In 1998, Motorola was overtaken by Nokia as the world's biggest seller of mobile phone handsets. On September 15, 1999, Motorola announced it would buy General Instrument in an $11 billion stock swap. General Instrument had long been the number one cable TV equipment provider, supplying cable operators with end-to-end -end hybrid fiber coax cable solutions. This meant that GI offers all cable TV transmission network components from the head end to the fiber optic transmission nodes to the cable set-top boxes, now at the availability of Motorola. In 1999, Motorola separated the Semiconductor Component Group, SCG, and formed ON Semiconductor, headquarters located in Phoenix, Arizona. In June 2000, Motorola and Cisco supplied the world's first commercial GPRS cellular network to BT Cellnet in the United Kingdom. The world's first GPRS cell phone was also developed by Motorola. In 2002, Motorola introduced the world's first wireless cable modem gateway which combined a high-speed cable modem router with an Ethernet switch and wireless home gateway. In 2003, Motorola introduced the world's first handset to combine a Linux operating system and Java technology with full PDA functionality. In June 2005 Motorola overtook the intellectual property of Sendo for $30,000 and paid PS362,575 for the plant, machinery and equipment. In June 2006, Motorola acquired the software platform, Ajar developed by the British company TTP Communications plc. In 2006, the firm announced a music subscription service named iRadio. The technology came after a break in a partnership with Apple Computer, which in 2005 had produced an iTunes-compatible cell phone ROKRE1, and most recently, mid-2007, its own iPhone iRadio has many similarities with existing satellite radio services, such as Sirius and XM Radio, by offering live streams of commercial free music content. Unlike satellite services, however, iRadio content will be downloaded via a broadband internet connection. As of 2008, iRadio has not been commercially released and no further information is available. In 2007, Motorola acquired Symbol Technologies to provide products and systems for enterprise mobility solutions, including rugged mobile computing, advanced data capture, and radio frequency identification RFID. In January 2011, Motorola split into two separate companies, each still using the word Motorola as part of their name. One company, Motorola Solutions, using a blue version of the Motorola logo, is based in the Chicago suburb of Schoenberg, Illinois and concentrates on police technologies, radios, and commercial needs. The other company, Motorola Mobility, using a red logo, is based in the Chicago suburb of Libertyville, Illinois and is the mobile handset producer. The split was structured so that Motorola Solutions was the legal successor of the old Motorola, while Motorola Mobility was the spin-off. August 15, 2011, Google announced that it would purchase Motorola Mobility for about $12.5 billion. On November 17, 2011, Motorola Mobility stockholders voted overwhelmingly to approve the proposed merger with Google Inc. May 22, 2012, Google Inc., NASDAQ, GOOG, 
announced today that the acquisition of Motorola Mobility Holdings, Inc., New York Stock Exchange, MMI, has closed, with Google acquiring MMI for $40 per share in cash. $12.5 billion, from the Google Press announcement, http colon slash slash investor.google.com slash releases slash 2012 slash 0522.html January 29, 2014, Google sells off the Motorola Mobility to Lenovo. The purchase price is approximately 2.91 billion US dollars, subject to certain adjustments, including 1.41 billion US dollars paid at close, comprised of 660 million US dollars in cash and 750 million US dollars in Lenovo ordinary shares, subject to a share cap floor. The remaining 1.5 billion US dollars will be paid in the form of a three-year promissory note. Google maintains ownership of the vast majority of the Motorola Mobility patent portfolio, including current patent applications and invention disclosures. But Lenovo will receive a license to this rich portfolio of patents and other intellectual property. Additionally Lenovo will receive over 2,000 patent assets, as well as the Motorola Mobility brand and trademark portfolio. Google Press Announcement, HTTPS investor.google.com slash releases slash 2014 slash 0129.html Divisional Products Enterprise Mobility Solutions, headquarters located in Schoenberg, Illinois. Comprises communications offered to government and public safety sectors and enterprise mobility business. Motorola develops analog and digital two-way radio voice and data communications products and systems, mobile computing, advanced data capture, wireless infrastructure and RFID solutions to customers worldwide, home and networks mobility, headquarters located in Arlington Heights, Illinois. Produces end-to-end -end systems that facilitate uninterrupted access to digital entertainment, information and communications services via wired and wireless mediums. Motorola develops digital video system solutions, interactive set-top devices, voice and data modems for digital subscriber line and cable networks, broadband access systems for cable and satellite television operators, and also wireline carriers and wireless service providers, mobile devices, headquarters located in Libertyville, Illinois. Designs wireless handsets, but also licenses much of its intellectual properties. This includes cellular and wireless systems and as well as integrated applications and Bluetooth accessories. Finances Motorola's handset division recorded a loss of US$1.2 billion US dollars in the fourth quarter of 2007, while the company as a whole earned $100 million during that quarter. It lost several key executives to rivals, and the website Trusted Reviews called the company's products repetitive and uninnovative. Motorola laid off 3,500 workers in January 2008, followed by a further 4,000 job cuts in June and another 20% cut of its research division a few days later. In July 2008 a large number of executives left Motorola to work on Apple Incorporated's iPhone. The company's handset division was also put on offer for sale. Also that month, Analyst Mark McKechnie from American Technology Research said that Motorola would be lucky to fetch $500 million for selling its handset business. Analyst Richard Windsor said that Motorola might have to pay someone to take the division off the company's hands, and that Motorola may even exit the handset market altogether. Its global market share has been on the decline. From 18.4% of the markets in 2007 the company had a share of just 6.0% by Q1 2009, but at last Motorola scored a profit of $26 million in Q2 and showed an increase of 12% in stocks for the first time after losses in many quarters. During the second quarter of 2010, the company reported a profit of $162 million, which compared very favorably to the $26 million earned for the same period the year before. Its mobile devices division reported, for the first time in years, earnings of $87 million. Spin-offs 
television and radio manufacturing. In 1974, Motorola divested itself of its television and radio manufacturing division, which included the Quasar brand of electronics. This division was acquired by Matsushita, already known under its Panasonic brand in North America, where it was looking to expand. Iridium Motorola developed the global communication network using a set of 66 satellites. The business ambitions behind this project and the need for raising venture capital to fund the project led to the creation of the Iridium company in the late 1990s. While the technology was proven to work, Iridium failed to attract sufficient customers and it filed for bankruptcy in 1999. Obligations to Motorola and loss of expected revenue caused Motorola to spin off the ON Semiconductor ONNN, business August 4, 1999, raising about $1.1 billion. Motorola manufactured two satellite phone handsets for this network, the 9500 and 9505 as well as transceiver units. Some of these are still in production by an OEM but sold under the Iridium brand. Government and Defense Due to declines in business in 2000 and 2001, Motorola spun off its government and defense business to General Dynamics. The business deal closed September 2001. Thus GD Decision Systems was formed, and later merged with General Dynamics C4 Systems, from Motorola's Integrated Information Systems Group. Semiconductor on August 4, 1999 Motorola, Incorporated Semiconductor Components Group, manufacturing Motorola's discrete, standard analog and standard logic devices was spun off, recapitalized and established as an independent company named ON Semiconductor. On October 16, 2004, Motorola announced that it would spin off its semiconductor product sector into a separate company called Freescale Semiconductor. Incorporated the new company began trading on the New York Stock Exchange on July 16 of the following year. Automotive On January 29, 1988 Motorola sold its arcade, New York facility and automotive alternators, electromechanical speedometers and tachometers products to Prestolite Electric. In July 2006 Motorola completed the sale of its automotive business to Continental AG. Motorola's automotive unit had annual sales of $1.6 billion, EU $1.33 billion, and employed 4,500. The division's products included telematic systems, like GM's OnStar used for vehicle navigation and safety services, engine and transmission control electronics, vehicle control, electronics and sensors used in steering, braking, and power doors and power windows. Biometrics In 2000, Motorola acquired Printruck International Incorporated for $160 million. In doing so, Motorola not only acquired computer-aided dispatch and related software, but also acquired automated fingerprint identification systems software. In October 2008, Motorola agreed to sell its biometrics business to Safran, a French defense firm. Motorola's biometric business unit was headquartered in Anaheim, Calif. The deal closed in April 2009. The unit became part of SEG and Morpho, which was renamed Morphotruck. Split On March 26, 2008, Motorola's board of directors approved a split into two different publicly traded companies. This came after talk of selling the handset division to another corporation. These new companies would comprise the business units of the current Motorola Mobile Devices and Motorola Broadband and Mobility Solutions. Originally it was expected that this action would be approved by regulatory bodies and complete by mid-2009, but the split was delayed due to company restructuring problems and the 2008-2009 extreme economic downturn. On February 11, 2010, Motorola announced its separation into two independent, publicly traded companies, effective Q1 2011. The official split occurred at around 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on January 4, 2011. The two new companies are called Motorola Mobility, 
owned by Google. Cell phone and cable television equipment company, and Motorola Solutions, New York Stock Exchange, MSI. Government and Enterprise Business Motorola Solutions is generally considered to be the direct successor to Motorola, Inc., as the reorganization was structured with Motorola Mobility being spun off. Motorola Mobility Deal by Google On August 15, 2011, seven months after Motorola Mobility was spun off into an independent company, Google announced that it would acquire Motorola Mobility for $12.5 billion, subject to approval from regulators in the United States and Europe. According to the filing, Google Senior Vice President Andy Rubin first reached out to Motorola Mobility in early July 2011 to discuss the purchase by some of Google's competitors of the patent portfolio of Nortel Networks Corporation, and to assess its potential impact on the Android ecosystem. Google boosted its offer for Motorola Mobility by 33% in a single day in early August, even though Motorola wasn't soliciting competing bids. The aggressive bidding by Google showed that the search engine company was under considerable pressure to beef up its patent portfolio to protect its promising Android franchise from a growing number of legal challenges. According to the filing, Google and Motorola began discussions about Motorola's patent portfolio in early July, as well as the intellectual property litigation and the potential impact of such litigation on the Android ecosystem. Although the two companies discussed the possibility of an acquisition after the initial contact by Mr. Rubin, it was only after Motorola pushed back on the idea of patent sale that the acquisition talks picked up steam. The turning point came during a meeting on July 6. At the meeting, Motorola CEO Sanjay Jha discussed the protection of the Android ecosystem with Google Senior Vice President Nika Sarora, and during that talk Jha told Aurora that it could be problematic for Motorola Mobility to continue to exist as a standalone entity if it sold a large portion of its patent portfolio. In connection with these discussions, the two companies signed a confidentiality and non-disclosure agreement that allowed Google to do due diligence on the company's patent portfolio. On July 21 and 23, Jha met with Aurora and Rubin to discuss strategic options between the two companies, agreeing to continue to discuss a potential sale. On the morning of August 15, the two companies entered into a merger agreement at the offered price of $40. On November 17, Motorola Mobility stockholders approved the proposed merger with Google Inc. On April 17, ARRIS Group, Inc., Nasdaq, ARRS, announced that it completed its acquisition of the Motorola home business from a subsidiary of Google Inc. Motorola Mobility Google Deal by Lenovo On January 29, 2014, Google announced Lenovo plans to acquire the Motorola Mobility smartphone business. The purchase price is approximately $2.91 billion, US dollars, subject to certain adjustments, including $1.41 billion US dollars paid at close, $660 million US dollars in cash and $750 million US dollars in Lenovo ordinary shares, subject to a share cap floor. The remaining $1.5 billion US dollars will be paid in the form of a three-year promissory note. Google will maintain ownership of the vast majority of the Motorola Mobility patent portfolio, including current patent applications and invention disclosures. As part of its ongoing relationship with Google, Lenovo will receive a license to this rich portfolio of patents and other intellectual property. Additionally Lenovo will receive over 2,000 patent assets as well as the Motorola Mobility brand and trademark portfolio. Quality Systems The Six Sigma quality system was developed at Motorola even though it became best known through its use by General Electric. It was created by engineer Bill Smith, under the direction of Bob Galvin, son of founder Paul Galvin, when he was running the company. Motorola University is one of many places that provide Six Sigma training. Environmental Record Motorola, Inc., along with the Arizona Water Company has been identified as the sources of trichloroethylene TCE, contamination that took place in Scottsdale, Arizona. 
the malfunction led to a ban on the use of water that lasted three days and affected almost 5,000 people in the area. Motorola was found to be the main source of the TCE, an industrial solvent that is thought to cause cancer. The TCE contamination was caused by a faulty blower on an air stripping tower that was used to take TCE from the water, and Motorola has attributed the situation to operator error. Of 18 leading electronics manufacturers in Greenpeace's Guide to Greener Electronics, October 2010, Motorola shares sixth place with competitors Panasonic and Sony. Motorola scores relatively well on the chemicals criteria and has a goal to eliminate PVC plastic and brominated flame retardants, BFRs, though only in mobile devices and not in all its products introduced after 2010, despite the fact that Sony Ericsson and Nokia are already there. All of its mobile phones are now PVC-free and it has two PVC and BFR-free mobile phones, the A45 ECO and the Grasp. All chargers are also free from PVC and BFRs. The company is also increasing the proportion of recycled materials that used in its products. For example, the housings for the Moto W233 Renew and Moto Cubo A45 Ego mobile phones contain plastic from post-consumer recycled water cooler bottles. According to the company's information, all of Motorola's newly designed chargers meet the current Energy Star requirements and exceed the requirements for standby no load modes by at least 67%. Sponsorships Motorola sponsored Scottish Premier League club Motherwell FC for 11 years. This long term deal ended after the company started to reduce its manufacturing operations in Scotland. The club also sponsored Livingston FC. Between 1998 and 2002, the company also had a plant on the edge of the town. However, this closed down at the same time as their sponsorship with the club ended. The South Stand at Livingston's Armand Vale Stadium was named after the company during their time of sponsorship. The company also sponsored a cycling team that counted Lance Armstrong amongst its members. Motorola is also a sponsor of Danica Patrick, David Beckham and Fergie. It also sponsored the Richmond Football Club in the Australian Football League from 2004 to 2007. Motorola sponsored Sao Paulo FC from 2000 to 2001. Motorola also sponsored Club Bolivar since 2008. Motorola awarded Trackit Solutions for being the company with most innovative enterprise mobility solution in 2010. Robbie Gordon was sponsored by Motorola in 2007 and 2008. Motorola is on Gordon's car in NASCAR 07 and NASCAR 08.